What's up everybody? Today we're talking about Flamethrower from Joey's Hot Sauce. Flamethrower from Joey's Hot Sauce. Oh yeah. Return of Joey's Hot Sauce. Yeah, yeah, I'm hyped on this one. Um, we've, I think, reviewed every Joey's Hot Sauce, maybe with the exception of, like, sometimes they'll do, like, a Scotch Bonnet variation on some of his traditional flavors. Um, everything he makes is killer. He's a super nice dude. I've actually met him in person. He always is chatting us up, uh, telling about us about things in the pipeline. And we're super excited for this one because all the hotheads out there have been giving them a hard time saying, Joey, you got to make something a little bit hotter. We love the flavor. And he listened. Hence, Flamethrower. So it's a great name. I like what he did with his logo. You know, putting the, making his face a skull. Yeah. as a pretty, if you can see it, pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, he, he was cool enough to send us this, but the first time he sent it, I opened it up and it was a, a mildish Bambino, yeah. which we already did, he which already is amazing to us, which is great. Now I'm like, Joey, I already, I sent him a picture of it and he was like, damn it. How did that happen? And I'm like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, but it's not the one you wanted to send us. So we sent it again, and then I end up giving that mildish Bambino to Kyle. Oh, okay. And I'm like, I still have like half of my bottle, you know. I'm like, all right, I'll just give it to a friend that hasn't had Joey's yet. Nice, hell so, yeah. Uh, you know, we uh, we paid it forward, I guess, in a sense. Yeah, get somebody else hooked on the Joey's. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm I'm hyped on this, but I'm also like I like that his number one priority is flavor. Yes, that's a lot, something he says is like I think it's even in the description on this bottle. He mentions like I'm probably never gonna be the guy who makes a hot sauce you gotta eat with like a toothpick. Like yeah, I'll, I'll make you guys a hotter hot sauce, but my priority still always gonna be on flavor. But then, and I like that. Like, then I also look at this ingredient list, and I'm like, oh my god, this could be maybe kind of bad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking of which, we should probably just go ahead and get into the ingredient on this one. Um, we got sweet peppers, habanero peppers, dragon's breath, Carolina reapers, scorpion trinidads, poblano peppers, jalapeno peppers. So guys, mind you. All of those are just hot peppers, the first six ingredients or whatever. And then we get down into some apple cider vinegar, some spring water, Himalayan salt, turmeric, black pepper, smoked ghost pepper powder. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> my, basically, guys, all those are pretty much organic ingredients. Uh, Joey's always big on, uh, you know, not doing like a bunch of preservatives. He always says, yeah, no preservatives, no sugar, no BS, made with organic ingredients, keto friendly, all that. So he definitely uh, really strives to put forward a quality product, uh, not kind of cut corners anywhere. So yeah, yeah. Um, ready to- uh, Let's throw some flames. Throw some flames. All right. <laughs> uh, Liu Kang this shit. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this sauce isn't our fatality. <laughs> uh, Alright, what do we got smell-wise? Smells fucking hot. You can smell the Reapers oh, and the Scorpion. Okay. That's all I... I I'm sure there's redeeming qualities about this, but... It just smells hot. All right. Um, it looks like there's some good chunks in here too. You can see some like black pepper flakes. Um, oh, that's probably way more than I need to start with here, but guess we're doing a spoonful. I try to match it. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Just because I fucked up doesn't mean you have to. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> if anything, Joey deserves a full spoonful. Right? Uh, well, yeah. cheers to Joey and his flamethrower. All right. Wow. Super flavor for it right off the bat, which is... Oh my god, and then it hits. Um, Damn, Joe. Uh, yeah. Kill it. Like, woo. it's just so much flavor with all the different peppers and the black pepper and stuff. All right, there we go. And then, my like, hiccups got me. three, four, five seconds in, this is like, boom. We got, we got some heat coming at you. And, uh, I don't know if it's just the way I took that bite, Ooh. but this one's actually burning the <laughs> underside of my tongue. Normally it's like the top of the tongue, oh, hiccups, back of the throat. <coughs> I feel like, <coughs> to an extent, <coughs> our tolerance is pretty high. Yeah. We're no superheroes. It usually takes but. a lot for us to hiccup. Well, also it has scorpion pepper. Scorpion pepper always made me hiccup. But, like I said, it's weird. We haven't had dragon's breath very often. No. Because I feel like, what, it came out and then Smoke Man was like, Carolina Reaper, boom. Going back in for a little taste. So dragon's breath just got slept on. Ugh. You want a little more? All right. Um, only for Joey, only for Joey. for Joey, but this would be really good as like a, maybe right before the bomb or, or right even after. after. Yeah. Um, cheers. Whew. It's got such good flavor on the front end. Uh, the sweet peppers, black pepper, all just all the pepper flavoring. I don't know how he got it to do that kind of delayed release. Because oh, yeah. normally, like, when you have something that's so reaper forward, it's just, like, hot instantly. And this one just, like, builds with the flavor and then afterwards comes in that heat. Um, so delicious. Oh, but I think, um, Joey, I think you have satisfied the hotheads that keep telling you you need to make a hotter sauce. If anyone complains now, they're a freak and yeah. they need to chill out. And there's got to be those people because everybody always likes to say how tough they are. That's, that's hot. Quite, but that's a hot sauce, guys. That's quite the burn. Um, but yes, I do agree. Still good flavor. Yeah. Um, we talk, we're we talking about the heat here. I think that's like a solid eight or a nine. Um, I think I'm going nine, dude. I, I would tend to say nine. Um, yeah. This is, this is up there. I mean, for your average, even hothead. I would say if you're going to do a wing challenge, this could be your final sauce if you want it to be. Damn. Yeah. Um, but I, I I would agree with that. I think I would put this in like the ninth slot yeah. um, on a wing challenge. Or you could maybe bump it down to an eight if you don't want to do the bomb because it's terrible. And you have two in that eight, nine region. Um, but I don't think I would do this before the bomb. Um, the only positive point if you're doing this before the bomb is like it's lingering, like my mouth is still yeah, on fire, uh, yeah, it's, and it's just gonna ramp up anything else you have after that. Um, yeah, I think this definitely, um, did it, Joey. Good job, rounds out the Joey's lineup very well as far as. Like, he put out the mildish Bambino, uh, you know, for the real mild stuff. 
you know, and then you got like the Lisa, the truffle queen, which is still one of our favorite truffle hot sauces. And then like the 50, 50 and the hella razor, um, man. And then this just kind of rounds up that top end of the heat spectrum from the Joey's sauce. And it still does kind of have that whew, unique Joey flavor to it. Um, it's so tasty. Um, that, that messed me up, man. Holy cow. <laughs> But I will Tyler's say there's a little red over there. <laughs> Ooh, man, I'm awake now. Um, I will say though, like it's nice that it does have good flavor. Because for any like wing challenge, I feel like I always don't want to do like the last couple for the most part. You know? Yeah. Uh, like yeah. So. This can take over. Yeah, for sure. Um, super excited about this one. <sighs> Joey, knocked it out of the park. Wow, we really appreciate you sending us this ball to review. Um, guys, if you haven't checked out any of the Joey's hot sauces before, you should check them all out. They're all fantastic. And he's just a super cool down-to-earth guy that we enjoy working with. <clears throat> yeah, support them for sure. Um, they have a cute home. baby boy named Luca. About the same age. About the same age as my daughter Taya. I think he's a little younger or no older. I can't remember. Yeah, it's, it's close. like a month apart. I think it's close. Time, but... And I mean, they're still uh, you know hand making everything. I think up in Oregon. I think Medford, um, Grants Pass, that area. Um, probably says on here. Mm, do, 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 do. Yeah, Medford, uh, Oregon. Um, so, guys, check out the Joey's Hot Sauce, um, especially if you've been talking shit to Joey about uh, not having a hot enough sauce. This is it. Do it. This is um, it. And if you've been talking shit to us oh, about man. our tolerance isn't high enough, some guys are always like, oh, that's not hot. I, I put a little bit on my breakfast burrito every morning. We'll just do a spoonful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah. Um, what else you got to add on this one? Lit me up. That's all I got. <laughs> well, mission successful, Joey. Um, once again, we really appreciate you. And guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, and go buy some Joey's hot sauce. Yeah. Thanks for checking this one out. Till next time, keep up the heat.